City and Communications for the county. Right? 911. And uh, I found some fault with it. Um, three things in particular, and so I asked that they be changed. Um, and I'm just bringing it up to you. There's no action for you required on this. Thing. So you've talked to Scott. I mean, he under. Well, I've worked, I worked through Amy Quickmore. Okay, okay. And she's okay. talked to Scott. Okay, but, okay. That's fine. Uh, when it came back, and of course, one of the things was that, you know, the typical things I talked to you guys about the contract provided that it should be decided under the laws of California if there was a dispute. Yep, 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 so, yep. no, no, that's got to be Indiana. And they did agree to change that to Indiana. Uh, we asked them, or they, they wanted it to be an automatically renewing contract, and we changed that, and they accepted that. But then there's a paragraph called, um, two paragraphs called Disclaimer of Warranties and Limitation of Liability. Uh, and they are sort of boilerplate in every one of these kind of contracts. You know, whether you buy a washer or a dryer, or you buy roof shingles, or you buy any product, there's disclaimer of warranty and limitation of liability. And I, it's kind of humorous because everything they, they tell you that, that, that they're going to sell you if you buy the extended warranty protection, then they disclaim in the agreement. And that's sort of like this. And the disclaimers were very broad. They said, you know, we shouldn't be signing an agreement with these kind of disclaimers in it if if they're agreeing to, you know, to, to, to provide this service and to protect us, and they really should be protecting us. So we kind of went back and forth. And then finally, they came up with this limitation of liability amended clause that I don't think Scott agreed with, and I don't agree with either, uh, because it says in the end, paragraph this, customer, that's you guys, acknowledges that with, without its agreement to the limitations of the liability contained herein, the fees charged for the products and services would be higher. So they're asking you oh. to agree that by re that you're saving money and therefore you're removing a liability. <coughs> well, I, I just don't think you should agree to that. I pass that on to Amy via email. Just letting you know that's the status of that contract. It's, I would think, subject to further negotiation. <coughs> so, so we will see. Um, that's, that's that contract. Now, uh, another one, <clears throat> make sure I get these in the right order. Uh, Amy asked me to review this contract for you guys. It's a lab corp contract, and, and they do what, testing for you? Well, yeah, what, what's going to happen is, um, as part of our health insurance, program we've always had the uh, county employees and, and and their dependents that are under our program have had the ability to uh, have lab tests done at, at no, with no copay to the employee or their or their <coughs> dependents um, that was done out here at the Parkview Whitley Hospitals Occupational Health Center on Connection Way when that, when they moved that to the hospital campus itself, that ability went away. So, okay. so for employees, they have had to go to Fort Wayne, one of three locations in Fort Wayne, for this. We call it free lab draw. It may not be a right, but it is. It doesn't cost the employee anything to have the labs. Um, so what we, what we looked at, and it really looks like it's going to work out well, is that our own April law in our health department will contract with LabCorp and do the draws right here in this building. So it's, it's really a win-win. It's just that I'm not sure who pays who here. Yeah, I, okay. okay? Well, so. as long as you have a handle on that, Don, mm -hmm. that's, that's great. I don't have any fault with the agreement, except, again, paragraph 6 makes it an automatically renewing agreement. So, and maybe, maybe in this case that's good for you guys to do that. It, it only, it, it automatically renews for another year uh, if you don't give written notice of termination uh, no less than 30 days prior to the end of the app applicable term. And again, you know how I feel about those because mm -hmm. nobody's paying attention to those and they're always going to be automatically renewed because nobody's going to pay attention to them. There's too many of them. 
So I think they would probably do this agreement if we suggested that come out. But I would recommend that that part come out. Other than that, if, if okay. the rest of the terms work for the county, I don't have any problem with the rest of it. And I don't know that that needs your action either, although Amy said on last Friday, can you please review this for the commissioner? So I assume it, one of you guys gave it to her. It, it, it does, well, actually April did, but I think it does require our signature. Okay, there so, you go. I just, again, I, I'm not sure, is this, eh, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, I'll have to look again. It, is LabCorp then going to reimburse April for the blood draws? I do not know the answer to that. Right. I was not given that All information right. when I was asked to review the contract, okay. so I don't know. I don't know. Could I, could I have your okay to just hang on to this and look at the automatic renewal clause and, and make the determination on the fee structure before we, I bring it back to you again? Next, uh, I got this communication uh, from uh, Amy last week. If you recall, and this is George's baby, I think, because I think you're the one that's working on this, the cancellation of ICON contract. <laughs> Did she talk to you about this? Okay, I'll, I'll read it. Um, Back in April, we canceled our, Icon con our contract with ICON. Since this time, someone came out and picked up the ink cartridges, but not the machine. I called today on a bill that we received for $35.87, $35.87, and they said it was for property tax for 2011. That's fine, but I asked them why they didn't pick up the machine when they picked up the ink cartridges, and they said the machine was never canceled. They need a letter sent to them, and then they will send us a bill for $600. I have attached the contract in the letter you sent in April. I'm a little confused about the whole thing. Do we really have to pay them the $600? And did we already cancel it? Well, my letter cancels the specific contracts that I was given. So, and it's got the numbers on them, so I don't know if we did or we didn't, because I don't know. Do you know what that contract is for? Yeah, what office was it in? See, she, well, she copied, she copied Joan Miller, so that's the help. Joanne. Joanne Miller. Uh -huh. She said, if I, if, if there were questions, Joanne Miller, the health department would know the answer, but, so, I guess I need to know from, and I guess we can I, can, I can follow up on that. I can call Joanne and say what, what copy or number did you have? But I don't know what the $600 is represents. So. Yeah, I'm surprised don't know. that Advanced Imaging hasn't um, clued us in on that one because they would have been either replaced it or told us that it was under contract because they would have put it under contract. Right. It doesn't make sense. So I, I'll call, I will call Joanne and see if we can get it straightened out. But I'm not going to, we're not going to pay any $600 right now. I guess yeah. probably just don't go down hard. So. Okay. Um, we did get on that issue about the uh, tax sale and the contaminated property, Jen's office, Mike, uh, I believe worked with SRI to get a legal opinion from them on whether or not that could be reversed. And uh, she, uh, they forwarded that to me uh, from, from SRI's legal counsel he is re recommending not to reverse it because there's no legal justification for it from his review of the law. It's a, a nice memo, uh, makes sense. I haven't sent it on yet to, to the lawyer for the 
folks who bought the property because I wanted you to be aware of it and instruct me on what you wanted to do. And what I, my intent would be to forward this on to Lindsay Rosnickel, who represents uh, the folks that bought the property, persons, and uh, I tell them this is this is what our our vendor staff count legal counsel says, and uh, if you have any quarrel with this or you disagree with us, let us know. And then when I get that response, then I'll come back to you and we'll discuss what we should or shouldn't do. But I will leave. Uh, did you give them? A, did, we should give these guys a copy okay, so yeah, they can review this. I didn't want to do anything until <coughs> you looked at it. Yeah, but I mean, it's very well written opinion. Makes sense. Uh, I didn't do the research on it, but I, I'm a familiar with the statute, and that's my recollection of the statute. It's a buyer, you know, the tax sales are a buyer beware uh, uh, process, and, and uh, just kind of like uh, mortgage foreclosure sales are too. So, but again, I'll do what you instruct me to do. But I'm going to I didn't you. know there was a formal request. The, the last thing I had heard was. Hey, they're inquiring as to whether or not they can get their money back. Right. So I didn't know that. Was a well, there was a letter sent to me. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think I forgot to discuss it with you at the last meeting, but it just outlined the same things that we already knew, and then we sent that, or Jen's office so, sent that's that fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that was probably yeah. my. So, so they've officially yeah. asked, and we've given we're given our our determination on it. Right. Yeah, and we're not any, under any time constraints. Yeah, we will take our time with it, but uh, we'll. I'll send this on with your, with your okay. Ha, so. Has the property been paid for? Just what they bought it for at sale, which was a um, commissioner sale, so it was ten percent of the taxes due. There what? was sixty thousand due on taxes, and they paid six. No, that's what I'm asking. Have the fees been paid? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it would be a matter of, if, okay, okay, fine. Don't there's six grand back if sure. you say forget it. That's the last I knew, right. and I knew there was a letter that he had gotten from me. Okay, okay. So, um, and, and other than that, I've, I'm working on, we're, we're working with Scott, and there's some health cases bubbling for the country file. And in fact, I can make it in some that have been filed in the ad to that, but that's, that's my report. Thank you. Any questions for our illustrious attorney? Thank you. Kathy, you ready? Sure. We have the um, sub.